The drawing you see here has a plant database file associated with it. That's a GCP file. And we've been asked an unusual question. Can we save a GCP file and turn it into a form that Excel can use? Well, I'd like to demonstrate that. You would attach your GCP, click Save, and I'll navigate to the desktop and to a folder. And it's called GardenCAD GCP. We can give it whatever name we want, but we'll call this one GardenCAD TXT because GCP files are TXT files in the same sense as they are in other text files. If we click on the down arrow here, we can say all files and there's some there already. So we're going to save this as GardenCAD TXT and we'll close from there and then we'll come back into our Excel environment or come via the Windows Explorer and see if we can open it with Excel. Well, here I am in Explorer and there's the file that we just wrote. So let's open it with Excel. Well, here I am in Explorer and there's the file that we just wrote out. So we'll now open We'll browse to our desktop and to that very same folder and we'll change our files of type to all files and then we'll select GardenCAD TXT and we'll open it up. That starts the text import wizard in Excel and it's picked up that our file is a tab delimited file and we're just accepting all the defaults and we finish. I'll move this to the center of the screen and we can double click on that boundary between the various names and you can see here we are uh, a very large file was there there's over 500 species in it and it came from the GCP file, which was just tab delimited and Excel detected that as it went. Notice this message at the top of the screen. If we want to save this as, let's say, a CSV file, we're going to lose some of that formatting. So if we keep it as TXT, Excel can work with it. We can rearrange columns if we need to, but if we save it in a CSV file format, which a lot of people like to use, um, we're going to um, we're going to lose some of that nice layout. So you've got to be a bit careful about what form you save this data in. 